Hey guys, this is Ryan with Tonic, and I just wanted to show you a really, really cool tool called Google Search Console. Now, Google Search Console is a free tool provided by Google that basically gives you insights into how your website is performing in a Google Search Results page. So a Google Search Results page is basically like if we go to google.com and we type in uh, show it website templates, this here is the Google search results page. And so we can see Tonic has uh, a link here on page one. Um, but if you don't want to just, you know, manually search keywords and see if you show up, you can use um, Google search console to give you insights into what keywords you are actually ranking for, which is really cool. So I'm going to use um, my site here as uh, my personal site here as an example. Um, but I do want to switch over to someone else's site just to show you because sometimes on the left side uh, navigation here, it looks a little bit different. It's all going to act the same. It just looks a little different. So if I click on like click com, uh, perfect, you'll see overview performance, URL inspection page, all that. But if I click on this one, you'll see your overview and URL inspection, but then that, um, the other, this kind of stuff looks a little bit different, but it's all going to be the same. If yours looks like this, you're going to click on search results to find this page. Um, if your account looks like, um, like this on the side, you're going to click performance. Um, so let's go back to my account here and go to search results. So search results or performance, same, same. Now, what this is going to show, it looks kind of crazy, but don't worry, it's actually not that confusing. Um, there's, I mean, you could go very deep into this, um, and I encourage that. Do some YouTube research and figure out how people are using Google Search Console, but I'm going to show you just a brief overview of what this looks like. Um, if you click on average position, actually, first, let me back up one second here. If you don't have a, an account already, you are going to have to sign up. So literally just go to google.com and type in Google search console. Um, and then it'll bring you to the landing page and you just click sign up and you're going to walk, it is going to walk you through a little page like this, where it says select property type. Just, I would select the domain property type, not the URL prefix, just do domain and just type in your domain.com. No HTTPS, no www, nothing like that. Just do, you know, your domain.com and then click on continue. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to, um, create a, a kind of like a, a string of like site verification string for you. And you're going to want to copy that. Now you do need to add a TXT record to your uh, domain registrar, um, but Google actually walks you through how to do that. Um, so I think there's uh, some uh, information. If you click learn more, you could read through this um, on how to add that DNS record at a TXT record uh, to your website. Or if you know that you're using GoDaddy or if you're using Google domains, uh, just go to Google and type in how to add a TXT record in GoDaddy or Google domains or Bluehost or whatever you have. Um, and then it'll walk you through how to add that TXT record. It's very, very simple. And so once you add that TXT record, you can then go and verify, and that is going to create your account. Sometimes it auto verifies if you use an email address that's already associated with your domain. Um, but most times you have to add that TXT record. Once you do that, you will have to wait probably a week, maybe even two weeks for data to um, kind of start loading in here. Uh, but again, this is a long-term goal or a long-term tool that we're going to be using. So give it a, um, a few weeks up to a month, and then you'll see this data and come back and then watch this. Once you do have data, it's really, really cool. So like I mentioned, click search results, go to uh, click on average position. And now what we're going to have is a list down here of queries. And so queries are what people are typing into Google. So I just typed in show it website templates. That's a query. And so when I search it, um, I'm seeing all these links now, because I'm seeing this link here, um, tonic is going to get an impression. So an impression is when someone sees your link. So I'm, you know, visually seeing this link in a Google research in a Google search results page. So I'm getting our tonic is going to be getting an impression for the query 
of show it website templates. Now, if I click on this, what happens is now tonic is going to get a click as well for that query. So you can see here in my account, I have a show it versus WordPress. That's a query. Let's just copy that because we'll use that here in a second. It's a query that I rank for. I rank position 1.1. So that's basically position one. Um, and they do like 1.1, 1.2 like this because it's basically taking the last three months. Maybe I go down to position two and then position one, position two. But um, uh, it's basically the position you land in. Here's how many impressions. So 864 people have seen that link, show it versus WordPress in Google um, in a Google search results page. So actually let's do this. Let's go back to Google. I'm going to type this in show versus WordPress and I'm going to hit enter. Okay. So if I scroll down beyond the ads, cause ads don't actually count as the positions. Those are just separate. You can see here, boom, I'm in position one right there. Show versus WordPress. What's the difference? And what we have here, um, is I'm going to now obtain one more impression. And if I click on this, I'm now going to obtain one more click. So you can actually see which keywords, AKA queries you're ranking for, where in Google you're ranking for them, how many impressions and how many clicks. So this is awesome. Cause what you could do is you can kind of, you could find, um, uh, maybe keywords like, let's see, what's a good keyword, uh, like show it, for example, just the keyword show it, I rank position 13. Uh, now look how many impressions I'm getting, but very few clicks. So this is actually really cool. I could go and I'm going to click on this and it's going to bring me just to, it's going to kind of separate everything. And now I get to go, okay, I rank for the keyword show it, but I don't rank very well. I rank on probably page. It's probably page two because there's typically around 10 positions uh, per page one. So let's go to show it. Check this out. If I scroll down, you won't see Moreno Collective anywhere on this. Cool. Let's go to next. Still nothing. Still nothing. So I might even be on page three because these result pages are actually shorter. There I am. So this is approximately position 13. Now, if I go and I count one, and then we go back to page two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I go back to page one, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's about 14 positions in front of me. Um, so on average, I'm about page 13. So that's about correct, right? Um, now what I can do is go, I want to rank for this specific keyword more. I'm, I'm almost there. How can I get a better result? So what I would do is I would click pages right here and I would look at what, um, uh, links on my website are actually ranking for this keyword. Show it. It looks like a, quite a few of them, but one in particular stands out the most. It's the show it versus WordPress. So I think if we went back to page three here, perfect. There it is. Show it versus WordPress. So what I could do is I could then go into this post and I mean, this post, I mean, I say show it 96 times. Um, so it's, it's pretty heavily, uh, optimized for show it. But I think what Google is saying is we're not ranking you for just show it because you're actually talking about show it versus WordPress. So what I would probably want to do is create a new blog post that it that's maybe titled what is show it, uh, or how to use show it the definitive guide, the 101 guide, something like that, and do a big blog post, 2000, 2000 to 3000 words long. That's all about just show it. Nothing about WordPress or anything, just show it. And that would help me then rank for, uh, this query of show it, it would be ranking for a new page. Um, Hey, check this out. I actually already have a page like that. Um, so which is what I'm working on. So I could then go and update this page to just be way more beefier, way better, way more information. Cause this is kind of lackluster. It's not the greatest page. Um, 
looks like some of the, the images aren't even loading. So this is probably one of those pages that I need to give a little bit of love to. Um, and, and therefore then maybe try to get better rankings for the keyword show it for this specific web page. Um, so that is basically Google Search Console um, uh, in a nutshell and how I use Google Search Console the most. Uh, let me go over some other stuff here. I don't want to make this video too long, uh, but this is going to be a quite a great guide for you guys if you're just getting uh, started with Google Search Console. If I click this new tab, we can actually sort some of our results by query. So let's say I want to know, do I rank for is show it good for SEO? That specific keyword, I can hit query and I can go exact query and I can type in is show it good for SEO and hit enter. And I can go, oh, cool. Sort of kind of rank. Um, I actually rank on page two, 868, uh, or sorry, not page two, position two. I have 868 impressions eight clicks is show good for SEO. Cool. So let's just double check that. I could go back to Google and just type in is show it good for SEO. And if I scroll down, I should see my link in here. Perfect right there. So I'm actually in position four right now, but on average, I'm a, on average position 2.3. Now average means every day Google's trying new things. They're putting you up at position one, putting you in position four, putting you position three and seeing where you land and how you, their users react to the, your link. So that's a good reason um, to kind of update content and make sure that you your position continues to get smaller because a smaller position means you're higher up on page um, one and that's what we want, right? So you can sort information and search information by that. You can actually go, I wonder, let's say, um, uh, let's use my show it page here as an example here. So let's just click on this. And let's just remove this. And I just want to search this, this particular URL. I want to know if this ranks. Um, I know that we kind of just already checked that, but it's a great example. I can click on page and uh, I want to do exact URL and I'm going to paste that and I'm going to hit apply. So now it's going to show me all information about this page. Now this page specifically, the morenocollective.com forward slash show it page specifically. Um, uh, again, I say ranks, but it's quote unquote ranks. It's associated with these queries or keywords. So show website builder. So position 6.6, .6. show website designer, show it website, show it websites, custom show website. So if I wanted to really rank for any of these, see some of these like position 80, 35, 34, 57, those are like very far back in page 13, 14, things like that. So I'm probably not getting, yeah, obviously not any clicks, um, a handful of impressions somehow, but no clicks. Let's say this one has the most potential position 6.6, .6, 274 impressions, but one click show, show it website builder. What I could do is I could go to this page and let's say I want to know how to update this page even more. Um, let's see how many times I say show it 18 times. That's great. I could probably organize this page and, and make it better um, with more information and say show it a bit more times. What about show it website builder? I say show it website builder zero times on this uh, on this page. So what I would need to do to rank better for this um, query show it website builder is probably add this exact phrase show it website builder a handful of times on this page. Uh, maybe like what is show it show it is a, um, a website builder. So then I have the words show it and website builder. Um, let's see if I have the words, even website builder. I have the web. Uh, yeah. So I've three times, which is technically how it's ranking, but I think what Google really loves is exact keywords. So, so I would need to figure out somehow I can add those, uh, sneaky keywords. Uh, if you guys remember from my, um, presentation, I want to try to see how I can add the exact keyword, show it website builder in this page 
I would say maybe four to six times. So I would go and update my content and try to add that in maybe a few times to the headers or maybe one time to the, to a header, like an H2, and then maybe four or five times in body paragraph areas. And that would hopefully in turn, um, get me a position two or three, or hopefully maybe even one. And then my clicks would start to go up more traffic just gives you a better overall SEO uh, score as well. So that's what we're looking for. Um, so that again, like I mentioned, is kind of the overview of Google Search Console. The last thing I want to show you is sitemaps. Uh, you'll want to add your sitemaps to this area. If you're using uh, Show It, then you could just type in Google Show It sitemap. And Google, or sorry, Show It has a great article on how to um, find your sitemaps, uh, the links. So here's your Show It uh, sitemap URL. So you're just going to type in um, whatever your domain is .com forward slash, and then add siteinfo.xml. Um, and then here, I'll just do this for my site really quick to show you. Oops, I need that forward slash in there. And if I hit enter, you'll see kind of like a crazy page. It's actually not that crazy. It's just a very simple page show up. Um, and in the sitemaps, go ahead and just paste that and then hit submit. I already have mine in there, so no need to do that. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow Google to see all of your links in one page and then go and rank all your pages instead of having to organically find them. Now, if you have a blog as well and you use Yoast, um, you're going to have two sitemaps. So you're going to have your show it one, and then you're going to have this sitemap as well. So um, I don't use Yoast, so nothing would pull up for me, but basically you would, you would type this in after your domain, and then you'd go back to your sitemaps and you would do another sitemap and you would type in your domain with this at the end that with the forward slash and add that second sitemap. And again, that's going to help Google index all your blog posts much easier than trying to find them organically uh, just through them crawling. So it's kind of like a little bit of a cheat to get Google's eyes on your website. If you guys have any questions about Google Search Console at all, I'd love to hear them and try to build out some more um, resources on this topic for specifically for Show It users. Um, if you guys have any questions, like I said, reach out. Have a great day. Bye.